Are you ready? But seriously, I'm asking you, are you ready to now to go further? Because what we just talked about, it was uh, some easy to calculate statistical statistics and a bit of math, but it was really nothing tough. Now I'm going to really share with you the complete algorithm. So, are you ready? Here it is. So, I'm sharing with you three sigma algorithm, and I know then just with the text it's difficult to understand, therefore, I'm providing a clear example. The whole algorithm has a several steps, right? It's not just one thing. You can see that there are several steps, steps up to six, but I even will show you then there is even step number seven or eight, it depends on you. But as I said, the whole idea of sharing this algorithm 3 Sigma with you is then you can use it for your own app, you can develop in any programming language. I'm using Visual Studio and .NET developing my apps and therefore I would be happy if you succeed with uh, implementing this algorithm. For example, even your own way, it doesn't have to be complete copy of what I'm sharing with you. But I'm saying this is one of the strongest one which are earning me money so might be also helping you so let's start each number has a ratio right I calculate a certain ratio for every single number every single spin so uh, this is one one small more let's say secret or something what I'm not going to share with you how exactly I calculate the ratio the point is it's not such a huge problem because I'm going to share with you variables which I use for this ratio calculation and you can a bit experiment on your own side what is the good idea how you put together several variables to get interesting ratios but I give you a lot of tips and hints how you can do it so the variables which I use are so I take a non-hit per number you probably understand non-hit right so if number 22 for example just came this is the last known number and we play next 10 spins and number 22 is not coming then only it is 10 spins right hit frequency and there is a trick hit frequency you can calculate forever but I use a limited time range or spins range so I'm using 74 spins and in these 74 spins I calculate hit frequency per number is another I think very much valuable information for you if you are thinking about variables which you used to which are going to use for ratio calculation then I am mentioning normal distribution equation right so plus weights for non hit and hit values so in general I am using something like I will come to the point but sometimes I'm using saying if there is a certain non hit value of the numbers in last 37 or 74 spins then I am giving certain weights for non hit and hit values per number but I will come to the point later and velocity time to time yes time to time not so I'm for example saying if one number is hitting every 10 spins let's say you just generated 40 spins right in total and if this number is every 10 spins coming so in general this number has a overall summary of hitting frequency 4 but it's hitting exactly one time in 10 spins my velocity is right 10 spins and you can use that because if such a number is coming so frequently and so exactly in the range of 10 numbers for example then you can play with it as well so I using this variable as well for my ratio calculation per number then I take all these 30 some ratios and create a simple average just create a simple average average can be like for example you have ratios from 0 0.5 to to two and a half and your average should be something like one and a half for example this is a simple mean and average I think everyone can do that right and then I'm setting up setting up the boundaries boundaries based on Sigma for example or I'm also able to use a higher coefficient I will show you an example later on how it is done then I'm picking the outliers I'm actually picking numbers having uh, ratios higher or lower than average 
plus sigma so if average is one and sigma is let's say half then one and a half is one boundary and 0 0.5 is second boundary from other side and if some number has a ratio 0 0.2 it's the one which i take if some number has a ratio 1.6 it's again higher than boundary i take it take it to group of qualified numbers as you can see now is the time to select four numbers because i play with the four numbers i found out this is the best strategy for me how to earn money so therefore i'm using four numbers and how to pick the four numbers out of this group of qualified numbers out of all layers i taking the highest ratios of these four numbers and four numbers with highest ratios i take for play and i'm also using a condition like a range saying if the sum of the ratios of these four numbers which i just picked is reaching certain value like five or six in my case then i start to play and i also using the second part of the range if the simply the sum of these ratios is higher than eight then stop playing i using this range which helps me to really generate interesting money and see the three sigma algorithm successful so this was a very quick let's say summary how the three sigma algorithm might work and how do i use that and now let's take the example 